Now, we're calling all horror hounds. <laughs> well, horror hounds, tonight we are talking about Friday the 13th, the original. Uh, I've been checking these out lately. I have never been a big fan of the Friday the 13th series. It just has never particularly grabbed me, and this most recent watch through isn't really helping matters. Uh, again, if you've been watching the show, you know I listen to a lot of podcasts and podcasts about movies, and I've started listening to a new mini podcast about the Friday the 13th series. I want to give a shout out here in Voorhees We Trust, uh, featuring the terrific uh, Paul Rust and Matt Gorley. Uh, so started out my rewatch, of course, with the original Friday the 13th. And the big trivia about Friday the 13th, if you don't know it already, I guess we'll put a spoiler up for a movie that's like 30 years old is that Jason, the, uh, you know, the notorious, iconic killer of the Friday the 13th franchise, is not in this one. Instead, the killer is his mom, as played by actress and you know, game show panelist Betsy Palmer. I'm guessing that there aren't a terrible number of you guys watching this, uh, watching this program that have any familiarity with Betsy Palmer. Um, but I know her, and my grandparents know her primarily as a panelist on um, no, not What's My Line, Not to Tell the Truth, You've Got a Secret, the 50s guessing game game show when, on which she was always a super charming presence. Well, on this one, in this movie, she is Jason's mom who is killing off teenagers because they, she feels that the neglect of a different group of teenagers led to the death of her son, Jason, decade, you know, a decade or more earlier, uh, even though, as it turns out, Jason isn't dead. And also, Betsy Palmer doesn't, as uh, Mrs. Voorhees, doesn't show up until like the last 15 minutes of the movie. And that's one of the big problems with this movie, is that, so this is, it's set at Camp Crystal Lake Summer Camp, Teenage counselors have come in, and they're killed off one by one. And a big part of the problem with this movie is that it tries to create its suspense by being a stalk and slay movie, by which I mean we watch a lot of stalking from the killer's point of view as the killer you know, follows the teens, stalks them, and then kills them. But the problem is, is that the teens never really know they're in danger. There aren't, there's not really a discussion of the Jason story or that people have been dying or anything like that in this movie, the teens are largely caught unaware, and that, for me, really kills the suspense in this and makes it pretty boring, as most of the movie is spent watching somebody watch teenagers. One of them is Kevin Bacon. Do with that what you will. Ultimately, this is a pure Halloween knockoff. Halloween had come out earlier and been an enormous success, and, you know, Halloween starts with that terrific point of view sequence and this movie said let's make a whole movie of that and to me it just doesn't work granted it worked well enough that it spawned a whole franchise and some of the later friday the 13th installments we'll talk about them on the show are at least pretty good but i don't think friday the 13th part one is very good and so i'm only giving it two and a half stars <laughs> And don't forget to visit our website, northmetrotv.com slash everymovieever. There, you can watch reviews of every movie we've ever covered here on the show, as well as complete episodes. That's northmetrotv.com slash everymovieever.